Power to the Truth. This is Pita Tiaztlan. I want to entitle this video Common Denominators. Common Denominators. Right now, the world is at war. In different locations, in varying degrees. When has there ever been true global peace on earth? We are all human beings on earth. Many of us have not evolved beyond being a human animal. Some of us have evolved to the point of becoming truly humane. Humane beings in terms of having care, concern, and compassion for all people. My search and research has led me to the basic conclusion that we are truly an endangered species. We are so divided, so much at each other's throats, that we are endangering our continued existence here on Mother Earth. Keep in mind that we belong to Mother Earth. Mother Earth does not belong to us. We wreck the environment, we in general, we wreck the environment, we disrespect our home, we kill and slaughter each other, and we're destroying the whole environment. At the rate we are going, we may, we may not last to the end of this century. If we do, it might be a miracle. This is not to get people paranoid or psyched out. But it is time for us to check it out, to study, and to realize the urgency of us coming together as one species, one family, one race called the human race. Our basic needs are, our five basic needs are food, clothing, shelter, medical care, and quality education. We create economies, have governments, and create a world to help us meet our needs. The world we live in now is controlled by an evil global empire. Does that sound crazy? What's crazy is when we have thousands of people in America going hungry and homeless the USA and the USA is supposed to be the greatest country in the world what's crazy is when we get involved in 
America's longest war in Afghanistan and continue to spread warfare in other places. Now didn't the U.S. pull out of Iraq or was that another planet? Now you know the fascist Pharaoh Obama wants to stop uh, ISIS, ISIS, from creating the Islamic State in the Middle East. And what business is that of the USA? We went into Iraq off a big lie. I'm not going to repeat what many have already said and spoken of in other places. So, we get so wrapped up in these foreign wars. When the U.S. gets involved, it usually makes it worse, worse than it was before. Nowadays, I see things in terms of the big picture. I see us as one family, one race of people called the human race. We're not in the 60s anymore. We're not in the 70s. We're in the new millennium. We cannot afford to waste time and energy building up racial, tribal, ethnic movements. And what we, need, what we need is one huge global humane liberation movement. And maybe movement isn't even the word. I look at it more as a matrix, an interconnected matrix of different people struggling for liberation in different parts of the world. And even if we were to overthrow empire, which is a far-fetched idea, especially when I look at the Nazi Americans here in the USA, even if we were to See, our industrial civilization has created all these nuclear reactors where on the one hand we need the personnel and technology to dismantle those nuclear reactors, let alone the political will. And then on the other hand, it is our industrial civilization that is killing us. We're wrecking the world. We're destroying the environment. North Pole, South Pole, the plankton, the bees. And not only, I'm not even talking about the nationalism that keeps us divided along nations. I'm not even talking about the racism where you you hang someone because of the color of their skin. I'm not even talking about the individualism of just, you know, me first and the hell with everyone else. See, we have a lot of negativism as a species that has now brought us to the edge of near-term extinction. 
I'll leave links in the bottom here and hopefully you'll have a better understanding but you need to study you know I don't do this just for my exercise you need to really see that we have major problems on the global table and if we don't start working together we don't start loving each other respecting each other and learning how to get along and learn Rodney King then we're pretty much through it as a species I'm not even talking about a lot of other issues. The idea is that people think we have all this time in the world to just hit each other and, and fight each other and argue over bullshit when we don't. We have a lot of work against us. Not even to consider the distractions of local, regional attachments and different movements that distract us from seeing the big picture. A global liberation movement, building up a building up a global liberation movement. So I'm just sharing this because, to tell the truth, I'm worried when I see other people who really don't care are so wrapped up in their individual lives that they forget about other people. You are good at hating and bad at loving. It makes me worried. Look, look, look at the news. Be aware of what's going on in, in the news. And look at other alternative sources of news and information than just the regular corporate controlled mass media. So that we can understand better what's what's going on. I'm not really worried about smoking now because who knows how long we have. I don't drink alcohol, I don't do dope. I try to take care of my health. So we've got to see that we have common denominators that we share in common. And hopefully when we raise our consciousness these common denominators will help us see that we are all in this together. We're either going to make it together or we're all going down together. And what I say, I don't see any way out other than planetary evacuation. And we don't have the technology for that. Maybe some of the upper elite people do. 
to make it to the moon or even Mars, but not the masses. So we're, we're stuck here on this planet. We need to come together, do what we can, and be realistic. Not pessimistic or optimistic. Realistic. Understand connected reality, what's going on, and see that this is a good time for us to work on our spiritual health. Beyond just mental health, our spiritual health. So that as long as we live here on the, this planet, that we learn how to live in peace and harmony. Is that a crazy idea? It's a crazy world. Take care of your families. Love one another. Get involved in life. And come together and create new world. Power to the people. Namaste.